Hello everyone, welcome back to our Trophy Hunting Classes series. Today we are going to be out on White Rhyme Ridge, and we're going to look to improve possibly our moose, maybe get a bison, a Sitka deer, or a doll sheep as well. We got plenty of large plaques as well as um, s small plaques throughout our lodge to fill. So let's just keep it going and let's get after it. So as for our weapons today, we have the 9.3 we're going to bring with us, the Pulsar Bell, and also the 17 HMR for foxes and rabbits if we get an opportunity at them. So with that, let's get into this hunt. So there is our Sitka right out there, and he doesn't look incredible, but he I'm not sure I'll have to see him from the front, so we're going to call him in and see if we can get a better shot at him. It just does not look like he has a ton of points, so we'll see. So our Sitka's starting to come in right now. He's about 40 me 45 meters out, so hopefully he'll come in a lot closer and give us an easy opportunity at him, and we'll take him out with the Pulsar Compound Bow. He is coming in pretty quickly, so we should be able to get a shot off at it in relatively soon. All right, we'll take him whenever he stops. He should stop sometime soon. And just like that, we dropped him. So that is our first animal of the hunt. It's not too great, but we'll take it. And uh, we'll move on from this. So let's go ahead and pick our Sitka deer up. And he scores 77, so not a great one, but not terrible either, so it's a solid start. And let's just keep looking for a monster. So we have a moose out here, and I'm not sure how big he is, but he just went behind some trees. But we're going to see, I guess, pretty soon how big he is. Score estimates 130 to 205, so he could be potentially bigger than the one that we already have. But there's a decent moose, it looks like. That looks really solid. Yeah, 170 to 245. That's a solid moose there. I think that's the one that we want to take. I think we'll take that out with the gun right now. Because that's a lot better estimate than the other one. Although I don't think he'll be on the higher end of that but if he turns broadside for us we'll we'll take him because that's pretty much a hundred percent gonna be bigger than the one that we already have so that's a pretty good start his his right paddle looks bigger than his left one he's got good brow tines though so we'll see I'm I don't shoot many big moose so I guess we'll find out how big he is pretty soon once we drop them. There he is right there. We're going to take him if he stops. Let's take him. We hit him. Maybe throw another shot in. That's two solid hits on him. Let's go ahead and see what we hit. I'm not sure if we hit him that great, but that's fine. We're in a pretty wide open map, so it'll be easy to track down and spot. So our moose is right up here. And we'll finally get an opportunity to see what he scored. He is definitely pretty solid. Probably bigger than the first one that we shot, I'd assume. But let's see what he scores. Our moose scores 173, so that might be smaller than the first one that we shot. I'm not sure. So, he's not going in our lodge, unfortunately. So, we'll just sell him. And that's way on the low end of that estimate because, I mean, the smallest size in that estimate was 
170 and it went up to 245 we got another male moose out here but we might ignore him and continue on for some bison so there should be a male bison right over this hill that we're going to shoot there's one out there but there's also this one right over here and doesn't look that big looks pretty small actually but we're going to try to get ourselves into position to get him and take him out it's actually bison behind me that i didn't even notice that's just a female and then we got a average sitka out there so let's go ahead and shoot this male bison it's also moose out here two of them neither of them are huge so let's take this bison out So, we're pretty close to him, so we're going to take this shot, I think. And he kind of turned right when I shot him, so that's unfortunate. But we'll see if we at least got lung, which it looks like we possibly did. And we did get lung, so that's good. He should die pretty quickly. But... We'll track him down and pick him up. Not a very big bison, but we'll take him and move on with our hunt. So our bison is right up here. We'll be able to pick him up and see what he scores. So let's pick him up. Not very big, I'd assume, but we'll see. He is a 56 scoring male. That is very small, but we'll take it. And keep on. We might fast travel to this tent. I'm not sure yet, but I think I actually will. So we got what could be a somewhat solid male bison out here. I'm not quite sure. I'm not really good at t telling how big they are from the back, but anyways, we'll try to get ourselves into the position. Maybe shoot this one with a gun. But so. he does turn broadside we'll take him except now he goes through brush okay we should have two in them and he is down so let's go ahead and see what our bison that we just shot scored hopefully a bit bigger than our first two but I guess you never know until you pick him up so our bison's right up here, and we will see what he scores. Hopefully bigger than the first two, which weren't that big at all, but I guess you never to know until you claim him, although he looks bigger by the eye test. So let's see, what does this one score? 107, so I mean, it's a lot, it's much more improvement than the first two, and uh, it's, it's definitely... A lot better than the first two. Uh, we'll probably not trophy shot that, but it's definitely a lot better, and it's an improvement. And one just a little bit bigger, maybe, in the near future. So that right there looks like a really solid bison that's now resting. That's probably going to be the biggest of the hunt. He looks really solid. So let's go ahead and move in on him and try to take him out. He has a low weight estimate compared to what I've been getting, but I'm not going to take that too much seriously as he could easily be at the high end of it. So let's just see. Let's see how big this guy is. He looks pretty, pretty, pretty solid. So he came with a whole herd of bison. So I'm going to spot all of these, although I can't see all of their horns, so it's not really worth it. But he definitely looks pretty nice. So I'm just going to go in after him, grab the bell, take him with the bell, try to get him to charge, I guess, is the strategy. 
So, let's make it happen. He looks pretty good. Yeah, he's a pretty good bison. So I shot him with a bow that should be a single long shot at least. I hope. And if it's not, we'll put some more in him with the gun. But it is definitely a single long shot, so he'll go down pretty quickly. And this guy is still alive, so... Looks like we're going to have to put another shot in with the bow, which is perfectly fine. We'll just take him out with a brain shot, and now let's see what this guy scores. 109, so he's a bit bigger than the last one, and I think I think we'll take a trophy shot of him. Why not? That is the biggest bison of the hunt, and... He might send him to the lodge. I'm not sure at the end. We'll see if we get any bigger, but that's a solid bison. So there's a trophy shot of him. We will accept, and that very well could be the thumbnail of this video. And that could go to our lodge, possibly. So I'm going to fast travel over here and look for maybe some dial sheep. I'm not sure. But yeah, let's continue on with this hunt. So there very well could be some dial sheep right in front of me. I cannot see anything at all. And in fact, there is one right there, and it looks like a female. Actually, that might be a male. I'm not sure. But I'm in a bad spot right now. And there are multiple doll sheep over here, and it's just that I can't... I can't see them. Oh, now I can. Now I can. And let's see what we got here. The one looked decent. Looks like a solid moose paddle, maybe. Maybe. A big maybe on that, but... If only I could see... That's the one I think that's decent. Yeah, that, that, that looks pretty good. We're gonna take that guy. That guy looks pretty good. There he is. And we dropped them. Let's see if we can get any other ones. Um, we hit it. We definitely hit it, so we'll be able to track him down. But we got the we got the we got the pretty big one down. I think he's pretty good. So let's go ahead and see what this guy scores, and also see what this moose antler scores. Here's a moose antler, and it is a 107, so that's a 214. That is definitely a pretty good-sized moose, one that's bigger than anything I've killed in this series, but he looks pretty good. Come on, one nines would be awesome for this guy. So let's see. 183, so that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. He'll go to our lodge, I guess. Probably. I'm not sure. We'll see at the end of the hunt, but that's a solid, that's a really solid doll sheep. So I think we'll go with that for a trophy shot. That's a pretty solid trophy shot, I think. But there we go. Decent sized doll sheep. And who knows, that might be the biggest one we get this hunt. So we got a doll sheep right up here. And it is a male. And there's another nice doll sheep down there. We're going to get the gun out and take him out. I don't think he's as big as the first one, but he's solid, so as soon as he steps into the open, which he just did, we'll take him. It's another nice doll sheep. I don't think he's quite as good as the first one, but we'll see. So our doll sheep's right up here, and we'll see what he scores. 170s maybe. 178, so yep, 
170s, definitely a solid doll sheep, but definitely not incredible. Let's keep hunting. Maybe move into polar bear territory pretty soon. So we got our male polar bear. We got one right up here. I'm not sure if he senses us, but we're going to take him out with the gun. And we dropped him, so let's go ahead and see what this guy scores. Hopefully he's a pretty nice one. I think that's my, maybe my third or fourth polar bear I ever shot. I don't really hunt him that much at all. Well, let's go ahead and see what this guy scores. So our bear's right here. Let's see what he scores. 28.3. So that's not a terrible bear, I don't think. But I don't think it's really huge either. So we're going to sell him, but it's a solid... Solid polar bear. We're going to keep looking along the coast, though, and maybe we can find one bigger. So we have another male polar bear, bear up here. And we should be able to close in on him pretty quickly and get a shot off. I've been tracking him for a while, and then he just started fleeing out into the open, so that's kind of actually helped me into my advantage, but we'll see if we can get him pretty quickly. All right, our bear is right here. So let's take him out. And we dropped him. So let's go ahead and see what this guy scores. Oh, we're getting charged. And she turned and ran away. So. Let's see if we can take her down, actually. And we did, so let's go ahead and claim our male first and see what he scores. Then we'll go ahead and claim her. So here's our male, and we'll see what he scores. He scores 28.6, that's even better than the last one, but still not a giant. So we'll take it, sell him, and then now let's go ahead and pick up our female. So here's our female right here, and she scores 23. She's a female, so she, of course she won't score that great, but let's go ahead and keep hunting. I want to hunt some of this ice up here because I never had before, and after that I think call it a video. So we have yet another male polar bear out there. We're going to go ahead and stalk closer to him because the 9.3 isn't that good at range. Once we get closer, we'll take him out. So her bear is out there at about 200 meters, so I'll take him I'll gladly take him if he stops. And he did just stop, so let's take him out. And we dropped him. So let's go ahead and try to navigate our way out on the ice and pick him up. Alright, our bear is right up here and we'll be able to see what this guy scores. And he scores 29.2, so that's honestly a pretty good one. We'll take a trophy shot of him. And he'll go in our lodge. So this will probably be the final harvest of the video. So let me try to get a somewhat decent looking trophy shot of this bear. So that'll work for a trophy shot. And there we go. So we'll send him to the lodge a while. And that will be the last harvest of this video, so thank you for watching, and then we'll go to our lodge to show our progress. So here's our little update of our lodge. We got our doll sheep and the polar bear that we shot. So I decided to taxidermize the doll sheep. It is a, eh. I feel like we can definitely improve on the doll sheep, but the polar bear is pretty good. We probably will not improve on that. So, I want to thank everyone for watching this video that stuck around, and I'll see you next time.